there may still be time yet this fall to see the amazing tundra swan show along the upper Mississippi River here in the Driftless region. These tundra swans nest in remote regions of the high Arctic across far northern Canada and Alaska. They will spend the winter along the Atlantic coast, primarily near Chesapeake Bay, but uh, on their way, uh, they will usually stop by, uh, again, the upper Mississippi River here. And one of the best places to see them would be near Brownsville, Minnesota. There can be several thousand tundra swans there in a good year. In fact, maybe a quarter of the, of the whole, I might say, eastern population uh, would be there. And uh, unfortunately, this year, uh, those tundra swans may not stay as long as some years. They usually arrive around the middle of November and stay until early December, but it all depends on freeze up. And this year we could have freeze up on the backwaters there by Thanksgiving day. Uh, but uh, if uh, it doesn't freeze up and you're looking for something to do over the Thanksgiving day holiday, go over and check it out. You could see upwards of maybe 20,000 tundra swans there then. If you would like to see lots of waterfowl and many other wonderful birds, you will want to make a trip to the Upper Mississippi River National Wildlife and Fish Refuge now in mid-November. There are tens of thousands of ducks uh, on uh, the refuge system then. Uh, canvasbacks, ringneck ducks, hooded mergansers, gadwalls, mallards, many different duck species. Uh, besides the ducks, of course, there are the tundra swans, which we talked about earlier, trumpeter swans as well. Uh, also, sandhill cranes are migrating south now. These uh, greater sandhill cranes are part of the eastern population. Uh, they nest primarily in uh, northern Wisconsin and Minnesota, and uh, they're on their way to Florida. Uh, these uh, sandhill cranes were part of uh, at least a hundred that stopped by Pool Slough near New Elbert here uh, last weekend. And uh, you'll notice the sandhill crane on the right uh, is an adult. The one on the left where the, the little red crown there on the front of the bill is uh, not quite so colorful is an immature bird. But uh, yeah, they'll be staying here until the ground freezes and then uh, on their way to Florida for the winter. If you're out looking for waterfowl along the upper Mississippi River now in mid-November, be on the lookout for land birds too. Yeah, one of the one of the neat little birds to see right now uh, at this time of the year would be the American tree sparrow. These American tree sparrows nest in far northern Canada and Alaska too, uh, nearly as far north as the tundra swans. And uh, yeah, they come down south at about the same time, but unlike the tundra swans, these American tree sparrows are gonna be staying here for the winter. Uh, you know, historically the American tree sparrow would have been the only native sparrow that we'd see here in the Driftless region during the winter season. Uh, the house sparrows that we have, they're not really a true sparrow. They're considered a weaver finch, but yeah, uh, they are a sparrow that we would expect to see too. But Otherwise, uh, you know, the, the other sparrows that we see, the song sparrows, the white-throated sparrows, most of those go south. Some have started to stay in the winter now too, but uh, if you're, you're out and about, you're likely to see American tree sparrows uh, in the weed patches. And notice that they have kind of a clear breast with just a little dark spot there. So yeah, watch for the American tree sparrows from now oh, right up until about the end of March in 2023.